Well, we're, we are joined now here at uh, the Sundance Film Festival by uh, musician Ben Queller, but he's not here as a musician, although he just handed us his new CD, uh, which, what's the name, what's it called? Is it just Ben? Oh, it's, it's called Go Fly a Kite. Go Fly a Kite. Yeah. And that's a guitar fretboard on there. <laughs> yeah. E chord. Yep. First chord I learned when I was a kid, opens up the album. Uh, but you're not here as a, a musician. He's here in a, no. as an actor. As yeah, an it's actor. really funny because I've been, I came to Sundance a few years ago to play, you know, an ASCAP event as a musician because mm-hmm. that's what I've been doing for years, and this is my first time to be here as an actor, which is, it's I'm taking it <laughs> in, you know, <laughs> I'm rolling with it. How did this happen? You, the movie is called Rudderless. Yep. It is the first movie directed ever by. William H. Macy, who, who we love. Who we love is, I, I, am, uh, I am just, I've become addicted to uh, his TV show, Shameless, yep. where he is just like... He's shameless? The most, he is. He's the worst sure. human being in the yeah. world. He is, the he wor- is. but and yet, and yet he has this element of sweetness to him as the worst human being in the world. Anyway, yes, of so, course. so he's d- directed a movie called Rudderless, and there, uh, there are apparently people in this movie who play guitars and sing, but you yeah. are not one of them. Well, so it, it's a very music-based film, and uh, it, it's based around a band of four guys. And so they brought me in to play the bass player, since I'm a real musician. Mm-hmm. And then the drummer's a real musician, but the other two guys are real actors, Billy Crudup and Anton Yelchin. Yeah. So we sort of helped each other out, yeah, you know, gotcha. with both, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a huge cast. Selena Gomez, Jamie Chung, William H. Ma- William H. Macy is in it. Uh, Little cameo. Uh, uh, Lawrence Fishburne, uh, Felicity Huffman, of course, his wife. Yeah. Uh, just uh, so, uh, how did it? Uh, how, did he cast you? No, it's a it's a four years ago. This all began. Okay, <laughs> we got an email through my website through BenQueller dot com from this guy Casey from Oklahoma City. He said, "Hey." I'm writing this movie. I wrote this character around you. I'm wondering if you'd ever be into acting. And I was like, okay, send it my way. I'll read it. You know, I've never, never done act- any. Never done that before. <laughs> and uh, I read the script, and I really liked it. You know, it was really sweet. And at that time, four years ago, he was just kind of hoping to raise some money and do a little indie film. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know, keep keep in touch. Let me know how it goes. I'd be yeah. up for it. And then a few months later, he said, hey, we're we're sending it to William H Macy to play the father in the film. I was like, okay, heard of him, you know. <laughs> Keep in touch, yeah. you know, let me know how this goes. Yeah. And then a few months later, Bill Macy loves it so much, he's not even going to act in it, he's going to direct it. And I was like, okay. okay. So it's just like every step of the way, it kept getting bigger and bigger. And then I was on tour and I was doing a show in L.A. And Macy came to the gig and we hung out on the bus. And at that point, I w- was really nervous because I'm like, oh my God, the, the character, Quentin... The main kid in, in the band, yeah. he's like every page Quentin's in mm. the film, you know, and, I, and I'm like, oh my god, this is like becoming a real movie. Yeah. Right there was like <laughs> some dude's like small project, right. and so and at the same time to get funding, I learned it all. I learned all this stuff about how these films come together, and you know, it's about you have your actors, and then they're worth a certain amount of money overseas, and then that gets the funding, and yeah. blah blah blah. So Bill was kind of like, you know, we kind of at this point need a real actor to play Quentin. <laughs> But you I weren't still offended yeah, at all? Uh, no, I was relieved. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. But he said, but I still want you in the film, and I want you to be Willie, which is the best friend of Quentin, the bass player. Mm. I'm like, dude, I can play the stoned-out bass player right <laughs> on. That's, I got that nailed, you know? And, um, and so they got Anton Yelchin to play Quentin, and... There you go. That was it. Well, yeah. we haven't talked the, about the story. The, uh, it, just this little description on IMDb mm-hmm. is really good, and it's very short. A grieving father, which is Macy. Billy Cru- oh, it was going to be Macy. But it's Billy Crudup. Yep. A grieving father in a downward spiral stumbles across a box of his recently deceased son's demo tapes and lyrics. Yep. So is that Quentin? Shocked. Nope. No. Oh, okay. Shocked by the discovery of his unknown talent, so he didn't even know his son. Correct. Was a, was doing music. Yes. He forms a band in hopes of finding some catharsis. That so sounds like a cool it's premise. It's really cool. It, it's actually it's really dark and there is sad. There, but there's uplifting moments. And you know, uh, Sam, the father, played by Billy Crudup. You know, he's obviously super depressed. Um, he's really reclusive, living on this anchored sailboat in a small lake in Oklahoma. His ex-wife brings a box of Josh's belongings from his dorm that has all the music in it. 
and for cathartic reasons, Sam decides to go to an open mic and play one of the songs. Let's hear what and my son's music sounds yeah, like. Yeah, you know, and Quentin, played by Anton Yelchin, okay. follows him out of the bar and is like, dude, what was that song? And Sam's like, oh, leave me alone, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And basically, after a few days, Quentin convinces Sam to form a band. He ropes Willie in mm-hmm. to be the bass player. And it's, it's fun. It, it's a sweet movie. It's very father and son. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. And a lot of twists and turns. And you like the music in it? And the music's good, yeah. yeah. Who, uh, who, who wrote the music? This guy, Simon and Charlton, two, two composers out in L.A., friends of Macy's. Um, they did all the music for it, and they did a great job. Mm. I really like the songs. So, so and uh, do you sing a little bit in it? I too? do. Yeah, I sing a little bit. Play the bass. Play some bass. Mm-hmm. Got Stoned the SG out. bass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, acting like that. You know, like I used to. Of course, you know. Yeah, well, of course, yes. Uh, let's see now. Has there been a screen? Have you had a screening here yet? We uh, we had here at Sundance. No. Um, Today they're doing some private screenings, I guess. So on the twenty fourth is it's the, first the one. like the last day, I guess. Mm-hmm. It screens. Okay. Twenty fourth, twenty fifth, and twenty sixth, and uh, the last one's down at the Rose Wagner in Salt Lake. Mm. Oh. Uh, now, have you? Uh, but have you been to some uh, screenings? We had like a little friends and family screening in L.A. How's that? A month ago, it was really fun. I cringed. I'll be honest. Like seeing myself up there for the first time, you know, because I've done music videos and things, but. But it's over to in three do, minutes. To play a character, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was a different thing, but I was happy about it. I was really proud of it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Is the is this bass player, what's the character's name? Willie. 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 Oh, yeah. Is is Willie really a different person than Ben Queller? He really is. Yeah? He re- truly is. He couldn't possibly be as nice as Ben Queller. No, he's kind of a smart ass, <laughs> actually. Well, I guess I could be that in real life. But, uh, yeah, he's he's different from me. You know, I definitely went somewhere <laughs> with it. Yeah. Um, which kind of led me to think, like, gosh, okay, acting, <laughs> it's pretty, a, it's a cool thing, you know, because, mm. yeah. You'll do more of it, you think? want to do more? I'd like to. It's not something that I'm really pursuing, but if it happened, I'd, I'd be into it for sure. Uh, let's talk a little bit quickly about Ben Queller, uh, uh, the, the yeah. musician, the yeah. guy who. Uh, you've been through Salt Lake, and oh yeah, yeah, you got, you got fans here, and yeah. Uh, uh, tell us about this new record. Yeah, this is called Go Fly a Kite. Um, it's the first one we released it on my own label, The Noise Company. Um, I was on ATO Records for years, and moved down to Austin. Was living in New York City for a long time, and relocated. Started a label. Wrote this batch of songs, put this out. Um, it was funny. It was my first Grammy nomination off this album, but for the packaging. <laughs> for the packaging? <laughs> I didn't know they gave a Grammy. I know. Neither did I. For we the- got it in the mail, and they were like, you've been nominated. Well, you the, but it's t- actually pretty amazing. Don't tell anybody well, that. Well, I know, well, but no, it's funny, because that's what my publicist was like. He's like, dude, well, now we can say Grammy-nominated artist, Ben Queller. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, dude. (laughs) For the (laughs) packaging. For the packaging. But I am proud of the packaging. You'll check it out. It opens up and folds out into this huge diorama. It's cool. That's cool. Now you want to know. Use your fingernail. Open it up. I don't have any fingernails. Mommy, open this. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, And and so will you go to the Grammys? Well, they already happened. It was just the past ones, yeah. Oh, did they happen last? No, last. Yeah, the other ones. Yeah, the Uh, other ones. uh, Did you win? For no. the packaging. Woody Guthrie 100 year box set. Well, that was kind of, that was a, there was a thing because they moved it from packaging. Woo! Yeah, nice, huh? Yeah. So it's an album independently, you know, made and distributed, but they moved us at the last minute to box set category. What? And limited edition. And their reason uh. was they said it was like too over the top. But I'm like, what are you talking about? Because this was like, we made this independently with local people in Austin. We did it ourselves for an album. It's actually the unlimited release. It's not the limited edition. You, you were wrong. Like That's the yeah. Grammys. So That's the Grammys. You know, you were wrong, it was man. a thing, but it's all good. Called the next album, Ben Queller was robbed. <laughs> <laughs> That's you the know? Grammys for you. They change the rules all the time. Yeah. And then they have Taylor Swift every year. Yeah. 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 Uh, the, uh, you, the, tell me a little bit about the songs on it. You're yeah, you know, it's kind of going back to my, my first album, Sha Sha, was pretty much a rocker through and through, and that's kind of going back there. Um, and it's a fun album. A little darker themes going on lyrically, but 
catchy as hell and fun. How, and how long it? So it's been out a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a tour? Are you touring right I now? I just got off the road. Actually, right after Rudderless, I started taking a break. So I basically toured up until the filming of Rudderless. And now I've been at home writing new material. Where's Pre- home? Austin. Austin, Texas. Yeah. Yep. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in Salt Lake. Yeah, I can't wait to come back. I'd like to see you uh, in the movie as well. Rudderless. Right on. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Ben Queller. And uh, thank you. Yeah.